situation um <laughs> and finding balance is tricky but i i say this and i don't think people believe me i i don't have any friends i don't hang out with my friends i don't socialize i don't party i don't drink or do drugs i don't do anything fun i like to spend time with my family i like to work and i like to run and there's nothing else in my life really besides those things that's awesome it keeps your priorities aligned it does you're laser focused yeah, I'm laser focused. I like that. Where are all these people coming from right now? Oh, China. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> nice shirt. Yeah. Wow, great. This is awesome. So, there's been so many iconic Casey Neistat videos over the years. You know, whether you're creating a drone that's carrying you <laughs> or... Uh, you know, being pulled through the streets of New York on a, on a snowboard on the back of a car. What, what's been your favorite, do you have a favorite video? Um, I mean, my favorite videos are always the videos that I make about family because, I don't know, I, I, when I, as I get older, the, my YouTube catalog becomes like a photo album. Right. And I'm able to go back and go back through my life and see all the things that I did and like, that's really satisfying to me. But certainly, like, snowboarding in New York City. Yeah, that was insane. Like a story, have you guys, hey, it's Shannon, hey, Shannon. Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt my talk to say hi to you, but how's it going? Um, that snowboarding in New York City movie, have you guys all seen that movie? Okay, that movie seems like this beautiful accident, like it just happened to snow, and I was just happened to be like, hey, let's go skiing. That movie took like three years of planning, including wow. keeping a really unnecessarily huge Jeep in a garage in New York City for three years just waiting. You just had it in storage? Just what, yes. And in fact, a year earlier, we were supposed to get this huge storm and I planned everything to shoot the video then and the storm <laughs> never came. Oh my God. But no, like Jesse being in town, like having a crew on standby, wow. everything was planned. So you had this idea three years in advance? No, I had the idea like 15 years ago. What? Because it snowed out in like 2002. I snowboarded behind a pickup truck all around New York City and I was like, oh, that'd be a great movie. Yeah. All I needed is some snow. And then 14 years later, it happened. Wow. Yeah. That's that, incredible. That was a good day. That, was, that video is one of my personal favorites. Thanks. It just looks incredible. And it looked like a blast. It was, it was fun. It yeah. was fun. Yeah. I can imagine. So how early is the inception kind of or the thought for content? Is it always like... 15 years out is a couple years out? No, it's, it's so like a lot of the stuff that I make, especially the stuff that now that feels more like a vlog, which I, I try to do with some frequency. The vlog stuff's always just like wake up and like what, what story do I want to tell today? What am I doing today that feels interesting? And then I share that story. And that's almost no premeditation. I always say like I capture my day as best I can. And then when I'm editing, I try to find a story and I figure out what story do I want to share. But other videos like snowboarding, or I'm working on a video right now for the 4th of July. Okay. Okay, this is not a joke. All right, I was just All in right. the hospital yesterday, and they wanted to remove my appendix. Yeah. And I was like, you can't remove it because I have a video shoot next week for YouTube, and if you cut me open, I'm not going to be able to shoot my video. And the doctors understood. But, like, this is a video I've been working on for a while. It's a major priority of mine, and I'm really excited about it. Wow. Yeah. So, do you need the appendix removed? Maybe someday. Okay. I mean, it's mine. They wanted to take it's, it away it's from yours me. To keep. Yeah. Like, no, I want that. <laughs> you leave that inside of my stomach. Wow. Yeah. So, what is? Can you give any? Uh, I want to. I'm working on figuring out how to surf in New York City. Interesting. Yeah, that's the Fourth of July video concept. Wow. Yeah, it well, seems very patriotic. We're all very excited to see I've that. got a red, white, and blue Speedo that I'm going to wear for the whole video. 
That should wow. really bring in the clicks. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully it doesn't get demonetized. Uh, let's hope Maybe. not. Let's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so you talked about, you know, creating with a passion. What about when you're navigating branded partnerships? You know, you've done some awesome work with Nike. Like the Fuel Band video was incredibly iconic. Yeah, um, my first breakout videos. Yeah. So it was a brand. Yeah. So how, how do you kind of choose like which brands to work with? I mean, it's 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 tough. I think that it's easier for someone like me. Like once you found your audience on YouTube, it's a lot easier to figure out which brands to work with. For me, it's always like. Is it something interesting? If it's a toothpaste company, it's tough. Like, I don't know what the alignment is there, but if it's a company like Nike that has a brand message that's like, just do it, right. I, that's, I, I love that. And it has, you know, there's no sneakers in that whole video. Like, that video is about the idea of just doing it. Right.